Next up, this is a quick article. Uh, Grayscale is dominating. Let's just be honest. So they just acquired 75,000 Ethereum just recently. So again, these guys aren't stupid. Um, they probably look to see what's going to happen and they bought up a massive amount of Bitcoin and they're buying up a massive amount of Ethereum. So which ones do you think are going to do pretty well next year? I don't know. Let's take a peek here. So financial analyst and editor at Banyan Hill Publishing, Ian Dyer, has shared that on Monday, November 2nd, Grayscale Fund Manager made a large Ethereum acquisition and they bought 75,000 plus Ethereum. That's amazing. The fund now holds approximately 2% plus of all circulating Ethereum. 2% of all Ethereum. GBTC contains approximately 2.5% of all Bitcoin in circulation after running GBTC for five years. And I can just tell you, if they're buying this much Ethereum at this pace, then they're going to be buying a lot more of Bitcoin, which means that there is a lot of demand for both of those Bitcoin and Ethereum because that is what they do. They buy this Ethereum, they put it into their fund, and they sell it off to institutions, fund managers, and people who want to buy into cryptocurrency, but they don't want to deal with all the hassles like custody and things like me and you do, which I have to tell you is not a big deal. I have no problem doing all those things if I don't have to pay the out some of the fees that uh, Grayscale has. So moving down, this was uh, just a reiteration of what we talked about before, but it is interesting to note that According to the recent Grayscale report, Bitcoin is heading toward mainstream demand. I believe that true. Previously, only a limited pool of market players wanted to acquire Bitcoin. In 2019, there were 21 million roughly people or players who wanted to acquire Bitcoin. Now, this year, 2020, it has increased to 32 million. So 21, 32, that's a lot of people. And 62% of participants are aware of Bitcoin. In 2019, it was only 53%. So you're going to see it year over year, just how much it inks up. And it wasn't like there was a lot of advertising. It wasn't like there was a lot of flash out there. I mean, look at what has just happened the last two months. All the different things that have gone on. We have everything from, from MicroStrategy and Square to Fidelity Digital Assets and Paul Tudor Jones. And then this, which is going on with PayPal. Uh this is next year is the year folks uh that is it i've said it before and i'll say it again i do not see how uh 2021 could be a downer of a year i think this was the catalyst this was the spark and next year should be big let me know what you think in the comment section but i've got my positions all right let's move on